Hello makers and also YouTubers, it's your best friend ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Train Simulator 2017 and today we're going to be doing one of the big ones, we're going to be doing a race and as you can see who's pulling up in the station right now, it's the Acceler Express from the United States of America and I am going to be beating this American locomotive in a French diesel electric, the TGV, which in my words, it looks better and it well, it is better because it's one, it's got double decker coaches, and two, you know, it's not as big and fat and tall as the. I mean, I mean, look at the size of the Excel Express compared to the TGV. I mean, the TGV has got double decker coaches, and yet the coaches for the, well, the single deck coach for the Excel Express is still sort of like slightly taller, as you guys can see. Because it's got these li weird little bits. But today, I'm going to be racing against this Acela Express. And you can see why I'm feeling just a little bit confident. Right, so what do we need? We don't need anything at all. We don't need any steam. All we need is lights on. And we want the pentagraph up. And we want that on forward. And then we'll have it just a little bit up there. I'm actually, this is actually a good race. I cannot wait to this race, this rate, this race to start. And... I don't know which train's going to be faster or which one's going to be slower. So um, I, let's just get started. Come on, uh, let's get moving. I mean, I'm at, obviously I'm moving because, you know, I might need it. But then again, I might not. So, you know, it doesn't matter. So I might cheat. But then again, I might not even not need to cheat. I mean, oh, God, look how tall the pentagraph is as well. I mean, the pentagraph is quite tall for the Acceler Express as well. Because why does the Americans always need big things? I just don't get it. Oh, he's off. He's moved. The Excel Express is already off. Look. Oh my god, that thing's taken off like a housefly. Look at that thing go. And I'm still I'm still picking up speed here. Look. Oh my god, that thing that thing's long gone. That thing's way 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 gone. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've got a lot of catching up to do if I want to stay in the race. Come on TGV. Come on. Oh my god, that th look, that thing's already gone. That thing's long gone. How am I ever going to catch up? I, ju I just don't know. I don't know how I'm going to catch up. I think my confidence has slightly disappeared. So this thing is just climbing at probably 122 miles per hour already. While well, I'm still all the way back there doing nothing. Like I'm only doing like 63, 64 miles an hour. So... At the moment, I'm not doing as well as I hope, so that's actually not very good. And I think I might actually lose this race for once. I might actually lose this race. In case you're even wondering, um, we've got a, a good uh, circuit for this. Because uh, what we've done, we've just well started off from this. And what we're going to be doing, as you can see, I'm there, and the Excel Express is all the way there. So, you know, the Excel Express has got a tremendous lead, but it goes along in this straight, and then it starts going around this corner, and then when it does, it goes into a big loop. And then, at the end of the loop, that's just, that's it. It just goes into a big loop, and then that's it. The, uh, the uh, race is ending. So whoever can get here first is indeed the winner. And that probably won't be me because I'm probably way behind and I probably already have lost this. So, I'm, um, I, 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 in other words, I'm, I'm out. But no matter because at the moment we're doing 190 kilometers an hour. And in miles per hour, that's probably just, yeah, it says it there, 122 miles an hour. See, look, we're almost at 200 kilometers an hour. Uh, there we go, bing. And we're only doing 125, 26, 27. Which is actually, um, well, actually, it's, it's not very good. It's not good enough because you, or you can see, you can only see the Acceler Express. You just see it. It's a tiny speck, and that's things probably doing 140 or maybe 160 or I don't know. I don't know how fast that thing is going, but maybe um, if I look on the map, where where is the Acceler Express? I mean, I'm here, and the Acceler Express is there. So you know, I'm not out of the race yet because I could. Indeed, I think I am actually indeed closing the gap because I think maybe the Excel Express is doing like 110 or maybe 120, maybe 30. I don't know, but I'm go I might be going faster than the Excel Express, so I might be catching up and closing the gap. So I wouldn't count myself out of the race just yet, my friends. But you know, since while we're waiting for me to catch up, we might as well enjoy them the amazing view of this world of this map. So let's just see what's on the left. 
Oh no, sorry, that's my left. I meant this left, this this left over here. Um, well, there's n there's nothing on the left. What about the right? Is there anything on the right? Uh, no, just a just a whole lot of empty. Well, this might not be boring for my passengers. I mean, look, there's there's the sun, or maybe that's the moon. I, I'm not entirely sure, but overall, this world is actually pretty boring. Maybe I should have added some. Um, some like trees or something but as you can see there's the Acceler Express just over there and she's starting to make the turn all the way around and then to the loop and then once we get to the loop I think that's it the race will be over but I think I'm catching up what's my speed 175 no it's 174 it's good 175. there we go now it's 175 miles an hour and I think I might have have this one in the bag I think I might win this yes I am my confidence has come back because the Accelero Express is just failing and I'm coming to an amazing catch up here. I, don't, I forgot what I was going to say, but you know, yeah, right, let's, 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 let's put the power off. Apply. No! Oh no! I've, ac no! I've accidentally pressed the emergency brake. This is not good. Oh god, this is bad. This is bad. I've lost the race. I've accidentally applied the emergency brake. No, heaven help me. The, the Accelerate Express is just right there. I'm going to lose everything. My speed, my confidence, everything I had is now gone. No. No, 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 no. No, this is not good. This is not happening. This is not happening. Release. Release. Do something. Please. Which button is it? Um... That's that's the horn. That's that's the horn. Um, oh God, no! Don't do this to me, please, please don't do this to me. Uh, that's the window wiper. I don't want that on. Release! How do I release? No! This is bad. Oh, the Acceler Express is gone, and I am out of the race. That that's 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 not good. Well, everyone, you know, back to square one. I mean, I failed because I accidentally applied the emergency brake, which I wasn't supposed to. So, we're... we're there's no other word for it. We're starting again because I failed because, you know, I'm a failure. We have the pentagraph off, up. Sorry, not off. We'll have it up. But since while we're waiting for the Excel Express ready to get a move on, we, can, we have time to admire how ridiculous this train actually looks because, to be honest, I mean, I don't... I'm not one for insulting, but this is this electric locomotive doesn't actually look that good because I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I like American. I mean, I love the American stuff. I, mean, I love the cars. I love the food. I love the people. Depends who that person is, but I just, I just, I'm struggling to actually like this train because it's. It, it, I mean, the pentagraph is too tall. The wheels look ridiculous, and all this. I mean, having a train this size, is it, like, really necessary? Because I know how they have they have big cars and they have big people. Um, I'm not saying you're fat, because, I mean, I'm fat, so I, I don't have any much to say about that. But, the, I mean, this train is not is not necessary to be this size. I mean, the freight is. But, anyway, let's, let's not get into that. Right, let's just move on before things get out of hand. Right, just getting into position before the Excel Express rockets off again. Just leave me in the dust. Or maybe I should have a little bit of a head start. Hmm, a little bit of a head start might help. Just a, just, just a tiny one. So I know where and when it's going to, you know, take off. Oh, God. I'm a bit nervous now because I might be might be cheating just a little bit. You know, just, just a smidge. I mean, technically it is. Oh, here we go. It's moving. Full power on. Go. Go, 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 go. Uh, and here it comes. Whee! And it just, see, look at that. It's just passing through me like I'm, I don't even matter. I think that's um, I think I think that's why the reasons why it's going off so quick is because it hates me now. I have made the Americans cross with me, and I'm probably the worst human being in the world. Yeah, see, he's got the head start now, so... Um, well, I guess I'll just have to catch up all over again. But technically, guys, I don't actually think that the Accelero Express is a total loss because the inside of the TGV, if, if you look, I mean, it's got all these buttons and switches and all these levers and stuff. I and mean, I know that, that yeah, that's, that's the horn. Oh, it has two horns. Oh, yeah, of course it has two horns. But all these buttons and switches and gauges and stuff, um, it, 
I mean, I, I don't even know what F0 is. I mean, if F0 is even a thing, and it, all these... I mean, I, it's very confusing. And this thing even has a, a foot pedal. What is that? Is that the brake or, or is that the accelerator? Why does it have an accelerator or a brake pedal? What are they? Or maybe it's the clutch. I don't, I don't know. So the point I'm saying is that this train is really confusing. And it's a bit sort of over the top. Oh, and that's the emergency switch, is it? Uh, yeah, that's... And look, why would they have the emergency button there? Why not have it, like, there or something? Oh, oh so... Oh, they're both emergency brakes. Okay. And... You can't... And you can't really... And, you can't, and, and in the game, you can't actually move around like you could do in the Flying Scotsman or any of the other locomotives. So, the inside, you can't actually do anything. So that sort of sucks. I mean, if you press L, I mean, the whole thing lights up, which, I admit, is pretty cool. If it's in the dark, but it's not in the dark, we're in daytime, but... That's that's not let's not get bogged down about that because I'm really struggling to like the inside of the TGV because you can't really move around and there's only one seat. So where's your best friend or where's or if you had to, or if you had to take your if it was like take your son to work day and you had to take your son with you, where's your son gonna sit? Maybe you could sit on that box or maybe that one. But the point I'm making is that it's very small in here. I think that's why the Accelerator Express is so wide, because, you know, the Accelerator Express, you can fit more people in the middle. Right, I can see the Accelerator Express again, we're catching up, but this time we're not going to apply the brakes. All I'm going to do is put that down, and that is it. So, we're just charging away. I have no idea how fast the Accelerator Express is going, probably 140, 30, 20, 10 miles an hour, something like that. But, I'm just charging it all the way up there, and my confidence as I said before all the way at the beginning because my confidence is back and where are we uh, let's go to current position see we're on this big sort of loop well we're not even on the loop yet but we're coming on this rounded thing and we're about to do the massive loop and you're probably thinking why is it so big well because we're gonna, because we're gonna be just traveling so fast we don't want to risk a derailment do we no we don't because this is a race not a crash scene and here comes the Acceler Express. He's losing speed. But here comes uh, Oliver driving the TGV. We TGV. We. I don't know why I just said that. Right. Uh, lights on. And actually, no, I have the light off because light on is just stupid. I mean, it's good. It's a good. It's a good function for this uh, game. I mean, I like it. Right. Let's put power on just a little bit. I think this thing's doing 120 miles an hour because you can tell I'm 120. Or maybe it's maybe doing 110. I don't know. Let's 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 have it down to 120. See. Oh yeah, it's, yes, it's, it's obvious this thing's doing 120, without a doubt. If we go in this position. Oh, hello my friend. Hello my friend. Blow the horn. Yeah, and if you press B, it has a second horn. Right, just speed up just a little bit more. Actually, can we move around? Oh, we can't even move around inside the coach either. That's, that's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Oh, but listen to the sound of this game. I mean, I don't know if you guys can... Sort of, because I'm wearing a headset, you see, and I've that volume on maximum. But the sound of this simulator, when you have two electric locomotives next to each other, the sound is really amazing and so well done. Oh, and here we go. We're about to cross the uh, the cross bit where the loop is, where the loop starts and ends. And as you can see, there's the finish line there. And we're about to uh, overtake the middle part of the Accelerator Express. As so. Oh, but look at this. And I, I, actually, and to be honest, I do like how the coaches are sort of put together. I mean, I do like the TGV coaches because they're double decker, of course. But this is th these coaches do look quite nice. I mean, I can't actually hate anything, everything about this train. I mean, I have to compliment some things, you know, because you know, you can't you can't really hate everything. I mean, come on, you have to give something a like. And here we go. We're about to do an overtake. Here we go. Overtaking. Succeeding. Now. Yay, we did it. We did it, everyone. Well, let's put a bit of braking on. Not all of it, though, and put that down to there. Because I want to do something good for a thumbnail. What should we do good for a thumbnail? I'm not entirely sure. But we've overtaken the Acceler Express, and we are going to win this by a mile. I mean, I might have slightly cheated. Just, just a little bit, but overall, I am in the faster train. Yay! And I'm gonna win. Right, let's put it on apply. Oh, 
Careful, we don't want to have an emergency brake. Wait, put it on release. There you go. Right, now, see, now we're starting to slow down. And if we put it back up, I want, I want to do something good for the thumbnail. Let's, uh, let's get into that coach. And what we'll do, because we're going, because we're going on the loop, this will this will make a great thumbnail if I can do, if I can do it right. Right, here we go. Here we go. Done. How about that for a thumbnail, my friends? The thumbnail is done. That is going to be the thumbnail for this video. Oh, and the T uh, Excel Express is about to overtake. Not if I can help it. Full power on. Here we go. I don't think so, my friend, because I'm in a faster train. 20. Yet yeah, this thing's obviously doing 120 miles an hour. 21, 22. Yes. Look at this thing go. This is this is a proper race right now. Look at this. Oh, that was a, that was a close shot. I want to do that again because that was a good, that was a close shot. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Wee. Oh. God, imagine being in the middle of all this. You think your head would just explode? Oh, that is amazing. Right. Well, we better slow down because we're coming up to the end of the line. Put it on apply. And here we go because we don't want to. We don't want to crash because you know it won't count of us as winning. But, if we uh, don't cross the finish line, we lose either way. So, no, either way, we're, we're sort of um, sort of screwed. So we have to get um, our speed and our sort of aim a absolutely perfect. Right, we're applying. Right, no, we're now we're losing speed, okay? Now, see, look, there's the finish line. Come on, because the Excel Express, because this is driven by the computer, this can break at the s soon and the quickest possible moment ever. I can't do that. Oh no, I'm going to lose. I am going to lose. This is not good. This is not so not good. We, we cannot let the American beat the French. Well, not on my watch anyway. I mean, I actually prefer the Americans than the French, but I just, you know, I, I want to win. Okay. I think the Excel Express is slowing down. Yeah, the Excel Express, sorry, is slowing down, and we're going to slow down too. They're just about to come up to the finish line. Don't want to break. Don't break. Well, actually, we do want to break, but not too soon. Not too soon. And not too quickly either. See, that thing's breaking like mad. Right, break. Break. Emergency break. Emergency break. Break, 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 break. Yes, we need you. We just need to cross the finish line. We crossed the finish line. Yay, we crossed the finish line and we win. And the Acceler Express is second place, which is not bad. But I don't think we're going to stop in time. Oh, God, this is not good. Stop. Actually, I think we might stop in time. Stop. Please. Stop in time. Yes. Yes, stop. Stop. And we... Stop successfully! Yay! We did it, my friends! We beat the Excel Express in this amazing race. I mean, sort of fair at the beginning, but, you know, then I had to start again. And here comes the Excel Express, just ready to finish. Oh, what an amazing... Actually, well, let's get to the buffers. Oh, and that's implying our brakes. And... Stop. Done. Hooray! Well, obviously, like, you see, the Excel Express can break at the soonest possible moment. And overall, though, I win. And the GGV was fastest. Yay! And on that amazing, amazing experience, I'm afraid it is time to end this video. Um, thank you, Excel Express, for being my friend. And thank you, TGV, for helping me. And thank you for watching.